uh, hi guys how are you i hope that you are doing good uh, this is atav rahman and the welcome you to my youtube channel english literature and english study today we are going to discuss about the forms of the poetry or the types of the poetry this is a very short but very comprehensive lecture and also useful lecture for the students of the bs english or the m english and also the students on the candidates who are preparing for the english lectureship can also get help from this lecture so as you know that we have started to discuss about the english literature history of english literature so uh, we have already made some of the videos so this is also uh, another video so if you have not yet uh, subscribe our channel i also request to you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you can get our coming videos as well without any delay so we are going to discuss uh, about the form of the poetry so it's a first uh, slide we are going to discuss things about the uh, epic poem what is epic poem it is a long poem about the deeds of the warriors or the heroes ye ek lambi poem hoti hai jo ke amal ko deeds ko uske warriors kehte hain jangju and the heroes ke deeds ko discuss kiya jata hai that is usually about the heroic deeds and events that are significant to the culture culture of the poet okay so there are some of the characteristics hmm, characteristics of the epic poems epics has five main characteristics the hero is outstanding jo hero hota hai wo outstanding hota hai they might be important are historically are legendarily significant uh, the setting is large it covers many nation or the known world uski jo setting hoti hai wo bahut badi hoti hai jo hai na kafi nations ko cover karti hai or maybe the known world ko jo hai na wo cheez cover karti hai the action is made of the deeds of the great bravery and the courage uske jo actions hote hain jo usme hero present kiya jata hai wo bahut bahadri ke aur jurat ke jo hai na wo hote hain supernatural forces such as God, angels and demons insert themselves in the action and last jo iski characteristics aap keh sakte ho it is written in a very special style verse or as it is in its form or in the uh, form of the prose as well so it is example of the paradise lost so hum agli example par chalte hain to idhar dekhiye ji jo next hamari type hai jo form hai poetry ki wo sonnets hote hain the definition of the sonnets the word sonnet is derived from the italian word sonetto which means a little song or a small lyric poem in poetry a sonnet has 14 lines okay so sonnet wo poem aapki hoti hai jo 14 lines par jo hai na wo mushtamil hoti hai there are so many types of the sonnets but i am totally discussing the shakespeare and sonnet uh, we don't shakespeare uh, as we have already discussed uh, him in one of our video that he was born in 1564 and died in 1660 to so william shakespeare ne apni whole life mein almost 154 jo sonnets se wo likhe hain i have given you one of its example so in this slide we are going to discuss about elegy it is another form of the poetry so i have given its definition Uh, an elegy is a sad poem usually written to the praise and express sorrow for someone who is dead kisi ki wafat par jo poem likhi jati hai ya kisi ko bahut zyada express karne ke liye sorrow ko gham ko karne ke liye usko jo hai na likhi jati hai to ye elegy kehte oh captain my captain it is written by the walt whitman it's a very beautiful poem and also an elegy on the death of the john keats passer by se shelley ne jo likhi thi keats ki wafat par wo ek elegy ki aap type hai to you can also Uh, get these things from your syllabus or from the YouTube. Okay, so it's in another type of the poems, a ballad, a poem or a song narrating a story in short stanzas. Traditional ballads are typically of the known authorship, having been passed on orally from one generation to the next. A slow, sentimental, or the romantic song. Okay. so it's a very main point that a uh, slow sentimental or romantic uh, song this is called the ballad it is usually of the simple construction it deals with the love war travel and adventure so you can uh, put these things in your what is called the definition or in your answer if you have a question about the ballad in your exam so here is an example of the ballad free falling from the tom petty you can pause the video and check this one i am going to discuss about the lyric the lyric is a collection of the verses uh, making up a complete song or a short or non narrative poem a lyric uses a single speaker who expresses personal emotion and thoughts okay uh, lyrical poems which are often popular for their musical quality and rhythm and are pleasing to ear and are 
easily put to the music or to the best wind parcel by Shelley again in ki ye lyrical poem hai you can pause the video and you can get this example last jo hum discuss karenge odd ko discuss karenge and odd is a form of the poetry such as sonnet or elegy uski tarah ki ek form hoti hai odd is literary technique that is lyrical in nature just like the lyric that we have already discussed but not very lengthy you have often read odds in which the poets praise people natural scenes and abstract ideas okay so this is something that you have to remember you have are uh, you have often read odds in which the poets praise people natural scene and abstract ideas here is given you the example from the john keats so this is a very a short lecture i hope that you enjoyed this lecture uh, we will inshallah also will going to make another videos on the poetry as well in which we are going to discuss uh, these terms in detail and other figure of speech and other parts of speech as well and other things of the uh, just as related with the english literature we are going to discuss in the later videos uh, till then take care bye